Hello, my name is Nazar. I'm going to be talking about Hirschi's control theory. Here, Travis Hirschi was a uh, sociologist who was well known for his control theory and his self-control theory. Basically, he believed that the more bonds uh, we have to society, the less likely we are to be del delinquent. And there are four types of social bonds, which is um, attachment, commitment, belief, and involvement. And he believed that um, uh, the more bonds we have, I already mentioned this, but the more bonds we have, the less likely we are to be committing crimes. I'm going to start with attachment. Um, basically, he claimed that the more bonds we have to people and socially valued goals within our society, the less likely we are to commit crimes. And examples of this can be family and friends. But um, I like to mention that this theory is definitely flawed. And it really just depends on who these attachments are made with. For example, more bonds could be could lead to more criminal activity depending on who these bonds are with. Um, it may encourage individuals to participate in criminal activity. Um, I found this quote in an article that said, one needs to not only consider the presence but also the content of the social bonding and that bonding to others who are involved in legal activity. And um, this, this could lead to increased rather than, rather than decreased illegal activity. And another, the other side of this could be um, I found another study that um, dove into the relationships between Japanese parents and their children and American parents and their children. And it found that um, Japanese have more intimate relationships with family and friends. Therefore, this creates a strong um, parental attachment that may decrease deviance. Next, I'm gonna talk about involvement. Basically, it's really simple. Um, when people are not involved in criminal activities, they are doing other things. It could be sports, school, studying, literally anything that is not a criminal activity. And um, they're, gonna, they're gonna have less time to commit crimes. Um, the in International Journal of Environmental Research um, basically did a program called Backtrack, which included diverse activity that minimized uh, vulnerability to high-risk situation for youth. And they found that um, youth while youth were act doing these activities they were committing less crimes and also found that communities preferred backtrack rather than increased policing in these in said communities um commitment is basically individuals who are motivated to keep a certain lifestyle with goals are less likely to commit crimes that is one of the more simpler ones doesn't really need much explanation if you have goals in life that are not criminal related then um, you're obviously not gonna want to commit crimes. And um, belief, belief is also another very simple one. Um, people won't violate rules in society that they believe in. If they believe in these rules, if they, think th if they believe these rules are correct and just and right, then they won't want to commit crimes. Um, that's it, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video and have a great day.